this is a this is a, a, a piece that was requested. Uh, these are all pieces that were requested. Uh, it's called. Um, oh, and by the way, this has the F word in it, so you know. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's 1929. We're gonna go showing ladies' ankles to people. <laughs> This is called because it will give me an excuse to buy and own and wear an ascot. <laughs> Last night I was out having a drink with a friend. Because we're both nerds and writers, our conversation steered into nerdy writer territory and dropped anchor. It was unseasonably warm, so we sat on an outdoor patio, one of the few that isn't rendered useless to me by an army of smokers. And we talked about the projects we're working on the projects we hope to work on in the future, and whether Pluto Nash is truly the worst movie ever made. <laughs> it will come as no surprise to some of you reading this that this discussion about the worst movie ever made was inspired by some talk about The Phantom Menace. <laughs> Thanks, biology. 
So I want to do one like that where I'm sitting in an opulent library with rich mahogany shelves and leather bound books, a roaring fireplace. I'm in a high backed French chair. I am sipping a brandy. I am wearing an Anastasia. I know. Of course you're wearing an ascot, he said. Why wouldn't I be wearing an ascot? That's what I'm saying. Any excuse to wear an ascot? Exactly. So that's the story. I'm sitting in it like this. I held the brandy snifter straight in my back. I turn to the camera and I go, Oh, hello, theater. <laughs> I'm Will <Louis. laughs> And having a delightful evening. I take a sip of the brandy, savor. The management of this fine movie house has invited me here to make a simple request of you for the three years. I take another sip of the brandy and I smile at the camera. Oh, this is delicious. My face changes slightly and I get serious. While you are enjoying this movie, please shut the fuck up. <laughs>